<sighs> Just so disappointing, isn't it? So disappointing. <sighs> well, I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> See, that was disappointing, wasn't it? That I didn't finish the video. So hello, everyone. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're doing good today. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about disappointment. When you face disappointment, what do you do when you're facing this disappointment? Let me tell you this. I am faced with the challenge of disappointment every single day for a multitude of reasons. You know, just thinking of thinking of all the effort and work I put into something and, you know, it not going a certain way like I planned. So many different things, you know, m over the course of many, many years. So that's one of the biggest biggest disappointments. And here's what I've realized. Here's what I've realized. When you have expectations, when you set goals of what you wanted to do, how you want something to be, and it doesn't turn out that way, guess what? You're going to be disappointed. Okay? So the best thing is just, is just not to even even make that at all to begin with. That's the best thing you can do. So if you do something, don't have any expectations. <clears throat> can't expect something because I'll tell you this when you expect it you're going to get 100% the complete opposite turn it around 180 degrees that's what you're going to get okay you expect um, you expect a certain outcome to happen if you make something if you say something to someone if you do a certain task well guess what you expect that now you're going to get the complete opposite of what you expect. You're going to get the opposite. So prepare for the opposite. What do you do then if you prepare for the opposite? That's the thing to think about. So that is the best tip you can give. Because as I said, when you have expectations, that's what leads to the disappointment. When things don't turn out your way, or not necessarily your way, but just, just the way you envision, the way you plan, the way you set things up. You know, I, as I said, I've, I've known people before. I, I, I know people where they have a project that they're working heavily on. Like, let's say you're working on a project for school and it's amazing, okay? You absolutely love it. You say, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect to get an A on this project. Well, there you go. You just expected it. Now you're getting a D or an F. Why? Because who knows why? Who knows why? But for whatever the reason is, you got that. And there's no refuting it. You try to refute it, you can't. There's no way. So you expect it, you get the opposite. So don't expect it. Expect, if anything, expect the worst, right? Expect that you would get an F or a D on the project. And then what? What do you do then? Be surprised when you get someone higher than that. Like imagine then if you were expecting, you put the same amount of effort in, you're so proud of it. <laughs> imagine if you were expecting an F because they're just so bad, but or a D even, and then you ended up getting a C or a B on it. You're like, oh wow. But if you were expecting an A and you get a C or a B, you're like, oh, I'm so disappointed so disappointed. So the thing is that there's no way to escape the disappointment. You will be disappointed. You really will. It'll happen. You will continue to be d disappointed throughout life. Just stating the facts. I know probably people don't want to hear that because it's disappointing to hear that, right? It's disappointing to hear that, uh, that you're going to be disappointed for the rest of your life. Unless you learn to not have any expectations. So drop the expectations. And just do whatever. That's what I say for you today. So I will catch you later tonight. Hopefully you, hopefully I'll see you. And um, here comes the plump little rats. Bye.